After Adobe recently increased the price of their Creative Suite, we've been looking at some alternatives to some of their other apps such as Photoshop and Illustrator. InDesign is mainly used for producing layouts and um, things like that for newspapers, articles, books, and so on. So here are some cheaper or free alternatives to Adobe InDesign. First up, Zara Page and Layout Designer 11. Here you can design printed materials from logos and business cards, flyers and brochures and so on. It makes professional workflows with support for PDF X and professional color systems like a CMYK, um, Pantonic and HSV. Good stuff. The next one is uh, Scribus or Scribus. Not too sure. This is a free open source desktop platform available on, on pretty much anything really. It supports professional publishing uh, features such as CMYK colors, spot colors, ICC color management, and versatile PDF support. And it also features some powerful vector drawing tools as well. It supports a huge amount of file types via import and export filters. And one really cool feature actually is the emulation of color blindness or rendering of markup languages as well. So packed full of features worth checking out. Next up is Viva Designer. This runs on all operating systems and most modern web browsers as well. This is really user friendly despite having over a thousand functions. It's a great complement or substitution for InDesign or Express. It's economically priced and um, it's single purchase as well. One that's coming up finally is Affinity Publisher. There's a free beta download already and it's likely the best publishing program after InDesign. This is definitely one worth checking out. Adobe Illustrator is primarily used for design professionals, producing logos, vector graphics, and layouts, and basically anything you can think of that involves graphics. Number one is Inkscape. It's a free open source uh, professional quality vector graphics package, and it's available on pretty much any desktop platform such as Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Next up is Boxy SVG and this is $9 per month and it's a vector graphics editor used by web designers and it's available in the browser handy. Next one is Critter and that's a free open source uh, raster graphics editor and um, you can also use it for animation as well and it includes over nine unique brush engines, uh, wrapper file mode, and some cool palette and toolbox options as well. Next up is Vector, and that's without an O, and that's a free cross-platform um, package that you can use in the browser or on the desktop, and you can also do some real-time sharing um, via URL. And finally, Affinity Designer. This one is a one-time purchase of £48.99. It's got an excellent workflow, pan and zoom functionality, great for animation. You can even zoom in over a million percent which is insane but amazing definitely worth checking out so there you have it so i've got five quick fire alternatives to adobe photoshop number one is zara photo and graphic designer this is software for detailed photo editing creative drawing and professional design Zara products are only available on Windows, but you can view, edit, and update Zara documents all within um, the web page. You can update it using um, a web browser or on your phone or tablet. Additionally, using um, some Windows emulation software, you could potentially run it on the Mac as well. Number two is Affinity Photo. This is available on desktop machines as part of the Affinity Trio, compatible with all major graphics tablets as well. It supports pressure sensitivity and brush stabilization, precise selections for cutting out objects, creating masks, or selectively applying adjustments that beat Photoshop. Amazing. Number three is an old favorite, GIMP. It's a free open source program along with Scribus and Inkscape for photo editing, retouching, basically all the sorts of stuff that you'd see on Photoshop. Number four is Photop, which is free online in browser image editing. You can edit PSD files, GIMP files, etc. It's essentially a Photoshop clone, well worth trying out. And finally, Clip Studio, a digital drawing program with a traditional feel with advanced digital features such as AI colorization, 
um, thousands of customizable materials and vector layers. You can convert images and 3D models to line art, which you know enables you to mess about with it for concept art and graphics and other designs. And that's available on Windows and Mac. So there you have it for great upcoming free or similarly priced alternatives. If you've got an alternative that's one of your favorites, let me know in the comments underneath and we'll check it out. I've been Craig from Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. Thanks for watching the video and have a great rest of the day.